Hello, welcome back to the Micro Foundry Classroom by Steedcraft. We've just got a nice interesting little first job of using the Lost Wax casting process to copy a simple job like this Superman dog tag. The Lost Wax process requires us to make the model in wax we can carve it out of sheet wax, but an easier way, particularly if you're not particularly artistic, is to make a mould. And we're going to make a mould out of silicon resin, room temperature vulcanising resin, which can be poured over the model. You put the model into some sort of surround, wrong reading side up, put it centrally in a, in a surround, mix the resin, resin according to the uh, the instructions, and then pour it over. It wants to be at least five mil deep. A centimeter is all right. It doesn't require anything more than that. And once it's cured, after about three hours, the material is tough and flexible, and can be peeled out of the surround, and the model can be peeled out of the silicone leaving us with a female pattern of our model. We use this to make our lost wax and the easy way of running the, the wax in is to use a cheap 15 watt soldering iron and some pattern wax and just allow it to dribble down into the mould. The first time round it will contract a bit and the top will be decidedly concave and so before it goes completely firm go round again and build up a little bit so it slightly overflows the mould to give you a surplus This is a feature with all these open topped free moulds, jelly moulds, is that they have an irregular top because it is free, it is open. Without any, any constraint. Once that's had five minutes to solidify but not go brittle, you can strike the back of the, the wax to make it nice and level. Um, any, anything that will hold an edge, it, it could be a six inch rule, a cheap stamped teaspoon comes through with a sharp edge anyway. If it hasn't, you can use a file to put an edge onto the spoon there and strike off the wax. That sort of way to finish up with a model which you can then weld to the rubber sprue base. The flask then is pushed over into the rubber sprue base to form the enclosure for your investment plaster. The plaster is poured to fill the flask and once the plaster has set the rubber is broken away from the flask and you'll see that the funnel shape in the sprue base is going to leave us a nice ingate in the plaster mould ready for casting. The result here is a copy of the Superman dog tag in brass, silver, gold, bronze, as many copies as you like, but remember each one will require you to make a lost wax model.